Hi guys, Matt here with a quick tip on how to get some weight and bottom end in your kick drums. Once in a while you end up with a recorded kick drum that just doesn't have any weight, doesn't have the depth to give a solid bottom end to your productions. And this quick tip is going to show you how to fix that without having to re-record your drums. By the way, this works for samples as well. The first thing you need to do is make sure that your kick track is as clean as possible. So let's listen to this track and see what we have to work with. That's a pretty noisy kick drum track. There's a lot of bleed from the snare and the hi-hats. So the first thing I'm going to do is use an expander to clean it up a bit. That's a lot better. Okay, once we have that cleaned up, the next thing we want to do is create an auxiliary track. You do that by right-clicking and adding a bus channel. Now the first thing you want to do in the bus channel is go down and find your tone generator and drop that on an insert. And the next thing you want to do is go get your gate, also built into Studio One, and drop that right beneath the tone generator. In the tone generator, the first thing you want to do is drop the level all the way down. You don't want your speakers exploding, and when it starts making noise, it could be very, very, very noisy. All right, so what we're, what we're aiming for is a sine wave that's somewhere between 40 and 80 hertz. So I'm just going to start, we'll call it 55. That should be a good starting place. And then go to your gate and bring your range all the way down to the left to counterclockwise and turn on your side chain input. And also make sure you unselect the duck. That, that it's automatically on, the duck is automatically engaged whenever you open gate. So just make sure you turn that off. Now the next thing we need to do is make sure that the kick drum feeds its signal to the gate to make it operate. So in the kick drum channel, you go to the sends, to the, down to the side chains, and select the gate input. What that does is send this signal through here, through the send, to the side chain input of the gate. Now, go back to your tone generator and start bringing that level up. Once you have your level set, we can start adjusting the shape of the sine wave. And we do that in the gate. So bring up your gate again, let it continue to play, and adjust your attack. A little punch here. And then the length, the, the release, is entirely up to you. If you're going for an 808 type kick, give it a longer release. If not, make it a little shorter. And that can be layered under any, any kick drum, a rock kick drum or whatever, just to give it a little more weight. Here it is without it. Here it is with it. Now there is one other thing you can do to enhance kick drums and it involves layering in a kick sample of your own. So go to your files and find a good kick sample. I'm going to use this one right here. And just drag it into a new track. Doesn't matter where. So what you want to do is come up here and use the tab key to tab to each kick drum. And then you're going to, using Command C, you're going to copy your new kick drum sample, like so. 
and then tab to your next kick drum and using the down arrow key now this is a slow way to do it but it is something that you can do use the down arrow to come down to the kick drum track and paste using command V then up again hit your tab to the next kick drum and then your down arrow and your command V and then up and tab and down and command V this is the slow way to do it by the way this is for us Neanderthals who like to do things the old hard way but it is an option boom 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 now if you started back at the beginning Okay, that's a little loud, so we'll need to turn that down just a hair, like so. Okay, apparently that's turning into a pretty heavy electronic kick, but you get the idea. Adjust to taste, two different ways to enhance your kick drums, in Studio One Three. This has been Matt. Until next time, go make great music.